Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Everyman Driver. I'm Dave Erickson. Today, I'm going to do something that's not super sexy, but realistic. I have the 2020 Lexus RX 450H all-wheel drive F-Sport. Now, I did a just arrived video where I go over all the specs, do some demonstrations in the front, the back seat, the uh, cargo room, and talk about the engine specs and so on, fuel economy. So, instead of having to rehash all that, I thought, how about we show you how I utilize this vehicle on my daily basis over the last week and how practical this is, namely with cargo volume and the cubby holes inside and uh, do that. So let's do that. And just for those who want to see more of this vehicle, at the very end, I'll put together a musical montage of more footage of this vehicle, both inside and out. So now let's get started. So as some of you know by now, we live out in the country. We have some acreage. We bought a Ford F-150, uh, I don't know, six months ago because we like to go and haul things and we need that kind of versatility. And I don't have the truck today, but I have to go to the recycling center and I put all my cardboard in the back of the, the Lexus and I thought, well, this is perfect. Let's show the cargo volume in a realistic view. I also have another demonstration I wanna show you. So as I pop this up here, now normally you'll be able to see uh, 18 cubic feet of volume behind the back row, but obviously I have stuffed this to the gills with a cardboard because I'm taking it to the recycling center. So if I fold those down, which I had to for this case, uh, it increases to 55.9 cubic feet of volume. And I've stuffed this, and I've stuffed it quite a bit, so much so that there is no way someone could get inside the vehicle. But you know, you gotta be creative when you're living your life day to day. And let's say you don't have a pickup truck, you don't have uh, extra space in the back. Well, you use what you have. And so, oops, I'm using everything I have here to make the best and of the situation. So here's one example. The other example, and I'll show you this now as I insert the video, I also went to Goodwill because we're you know, doing some spring cleaning this early in the year and we're donating some items that we don't really find joy in, but we think other people could benefit from. So we go to the Goodwill maybe, I don't know, two, three times a month and uh, donate some things. Here's what the back of the Lexus looks like in that case. Again, I have it stuffed, nearly 56 cubic feet of volume, and it is completely uh, full. So that's what that looks like with those items. Now, when you're ready to close it up, obviously there's an option right here. We press this button, it'll close up, and if nothing's in the way, it'll stay shut. Yeah, it worked out. Okay, another cool thing inside is some of the cubby holes that I've been utilizing all this week. This side door panel pulls out a little bit, just for, I guess, in case you have something a little bit larger. But I got my Red Bull in there, spot right here if I wanna put my keys or my wallet. Now, as we go inside, this is one of my favorite things that I haven't seen before ever. A, a spot, I assume, is meant for your phone because I've been putting my phone in there perfectly. So it fits right there. Only downside, I was hoping that it would be a wireless charging slot, but it's not. So, but I have been able to just put my phone right there. This is Bluetooth, and they don't have Apple CarPlay, but they do have USB ports in here. Two right there. I've used this little tray for a notepad. So again, that's realistic and how I would utilize this if this was my own car. One thing I don't like, sorry Alexis, is this trackpad because when you're trying to navigate the screen, it's very hard to be accurate or harder to be accurate. I'm sure the learning curve, you know, you'll get used to it over time, but I'm not a fan of it and I wish they would change it. I know they have a mouse pad in some of those, uh, some Lexus vehicles. But here, for example, I'm gonna use this on the screen and I'm going over left and right, pressing enter for the source. Now, if I go to the radio, I had some challenges going to the presets. Let's see, presets, station list, it was it, presets. And you know, I, I go over too far just by, look at, I'm going left and right and I'm only touching it a little bit and it's hard to be really accurate with the touch and then sometimes I just frustrated I go okay let me just go back or hit the menu and then with the menu you can go through and do these things like climate control I was trying to heat the seats and I was having a hard time finding that and then getting to the right spot this should be if I can get to it 
should be fuel economy, or at least the engine, because we have a hybrid here. Fuel economy is 31 city, 28 highway. I'm trying to get to this, these things so I can show you some details, but I don't know, it's just not as intuitive and easy to navigate as I'd like. But that's just one of the things with this. Otherwise, I do a demo with everything else. That's cool with the cup holders. Again, side door panels for cubby holes like I have here with the tray. People won't like this, or at least they, they say they don't like this, how it protrudes up off the dashboard. I understand. But hey, this is a, a 12.3 inch display, which is fantastic. I love how large it is and how clear it is. The graphics could be updated. It could have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Um, just not, I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's things with this thing that just bothers me a little bit too much. But anyways, I like how I can utilize this as a pretty quiet vehicle as well. So realistically, that's how I've been using the car this week. Uh, they have a sport mode, which I use on the highway when I want to get up to speed and, you know, zip from, you know, as I enter the highway and, and get up to speed. A little, little loud, but oh well. Anyways, this is how I've been using the car this week. I've been using it for cargo as well as getting around town. I had both kids in the back with the car seats, so that was good. So I was able to put them back there with no problem. I love the interior. Uh, so with that, let me show you some more footage of this vehicle uh, inside and out with some music. Hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. More to come on a regular basis here on Everyman Driver. Adios. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best-selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comment section below.